Hi Pisces, I'm here for another reading for you today. As always, it's not personal, but if you'd like a personal reading, a one-on-one -on -one personal session, which is a personal reading, intuitive channeling, and spiritual coaching for 30 minutes to an hour, or a Akashic Record session, past life regression, check out the box below. It has everything it is that you will need and my website, 144bluerosetemple.com. Thank you for all of your love and thank you for all of your support. If my energy resonates with you, feel free to subscribe and click on the notification bell so you can know when the next reading does come out. Divine Mother and Father, what do we have for the Pisces today for their highest good and for the highest good of all? And now I had to take a little bit of a break uh, earlier in this week because I was in a shamanic ceremony, a shamanic sacred medicine ceremony over the weekend. And it was very beautiful, but there's a lot to integrate. And I ended up actually injuring my face in it while on the medicine. Divine Mother and Father, what do we have for the Pisces today? For their highest good, for the highest good of all. A lot of cards here. Someone wants you. Or people in general. Sacred marriage, sexual wisdom. I'm getting a lot of Hero Scamos energy. What I feel the need to say too in this reading is that this is going to be a very high vibrational reading. No more hiding, sensitivity, sexual wisdom, sacred marriage, and chakra healing. This is owning... Oh, baby. Didn't Mars just go into Scorpio? Oh, yeah. I, I love a good Mars and Scorpio. I love a good Mars and Scorpio. This is owning your sensuality, your sexuality, okay? And whenever you're coming across this reading, Pisces, it can be for you. Though I will say that Mars just went into Scorpio and we all know what that means. You're being asked to own your sensuality, your life force energy, because that's what it is, is life force energy. For some of you, you had a past life where it was like you were a scarlet woman or man, right? A tantrika. Uh, even men like you could have been like a priest or priestess, right? Of the tantric arts is what I'm seeing. But it's, I'm getting like the serpent of light. It's very high vibrational. This reading is not going to resonate with everyone. These are the people who, like you in past lives, you were in the cults of Anana and Ishtar. You practice sacred sexuality. You practice womb rites, shamanika or a shamanko, because if you're a woman and then as a man, you know, it's both. That's what I'm getting is it's both, okay? Um, but you definitely have a past life with a lot of the tantric ancient feminine or, you know, masculine wisdom. This is an energy where in other lifetimes and this lifetime, oh baby, like persecution, because this is something that's very denied by society. And so you practice and you practice this, whether that's another lifetime or this lifetime, you practiced it in its purest form. Um, and that's why you have no more hiding in the middle of all of these cards here, which I know you can't see, but in the middle of all these cards is the card, no more hiding between sacred marriage, Mary Magdalene, Kadesh, sexual wisdom. Some of you are in the Rose lineage, whether you're a man or a woman, because there are many men who also practiced and learned sexual alchemy in the temples of Isis, of Osiris, of Hathor. Okay, so you have a past life in this energy, or if you have a lot of en this energy in this lifetime, it's because of a past life where you really mastered this or studied this. There's no more hiding it though, okay? Um, for some of you, I feel like you're done kind of caring what people think, you know? Um, I am wearing a yin-yang shirt, you know, and it is a, a balance of the light and the dark, of the light and the shadow. And um, so for some of you, I feel like this has been very suppressed due to persecution wounding, I'm also getting Hecate, okay? So like in another lifetime, you could have been persecuted because of this. I'm getting like, again, another lifetime and then even trickling parallel timeline in this lifetime where people are like, oh my God, they're a man whore or they're a whore or this or that, which H-O-R means a priest or priestess that studies the womb, but we won't go there. But they're calling you like a S-L-U-T, things like that. 
but you're actually very powerful. And so this is really mirroring back to these people. Okay, the world, society is not ready, has not been ready for these teachings until now. <laughs> you know, like they haven't been ready for these teachings. And it's like, I'm coming out. There's no more hiding who you are. Uh, for some of you in your life, you've just really suppressed your sensuality and, and things like that. And there's uh, no hiding it, which is not the same as like, okay, let's go out and do this with everyone and show everyone my life force energy. It's not that either. Um, but there's definitely not any suppressing or denying it. Okay. Let's see what this reading is because there's a lot of different ways that the tarot can go with this particular reading. Okay. For sacred marriage, sexual wisdom, no more hiding high priest of Atlantis and King Neptune. I'm also seeing honey, like your energy, Ace of Swords, your energy is like honey. It's just intoxicating. It's, um, I'm almost seeing like perfume. Okay. But it's like your life force energy is very healing to others. Ace of Swords truth. You have encountered in other lifetimes or in this lifetime, a lot of backlash especially with the same gender. So that's what I'm getting, especially with the same gender, a lot of backlash uh, because they see you in a particular way, but okay. Why the Ace of Swords and the Six of Pentacles? Something from the past is coming back to give you something. Okay, Ace of Swords over here. We're gonna clarify each one. Why the Ace of Swords for Pisces? Someone here wants to give you an actual, a real offer, okay? Um, Ace of Cups with the Ace of Swords. This is really for you at this time. Like, this is faded. We are in eclipse season. Whenever you're coming across this video, it can be for you. This is meant for you at this time. Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords. It is meant for you. You're meant to receive this cup, and you will receive this cup. Six of Cups, this could be maybe something from childhood, something from the past, or someone from the past. Why the Six of Cups here? Bringing in balance, okay? Why are those, uh, rather, Six of Pentacles? Why are the Six of Pentacles with the, why the Eight of Wands? Why are the Six of Pentacles with the double card and the Eight of Wands? Why are the Six of Cups with the Two of Pentacles? Someone does want to come in with an offer. It's so interesting that as soon as I thought this in my head, these cards came out. Someone sees you. Okay, so in my head, I saw the devil card and I was thinking like not obsession, but the devil card sometimes can even be like just those lower cravings, you know, um, and not necessarily always in a bad way. Uh, you have the Ace of Pentacles, Six of Cups, so there is someone or something from the past that wants to bring in some sort of offer. You know what? The Six of Pentacles with the Devil card and the Eight of Wands, um, Four of Swords, Temptation. Someone does see you as like a temptress or tempter, okay? Whether you're male or female, they see you as this energy, like this person's a tempter, okay? Um, why the Four of Swords would be Temptation? Yeah, 444. Four, four. You can be seeing 444. Four, four. You know, but you actually are not doing anything necessarily. And even, and that's the thing with all of these energies. You've received so much backlash because when it comes to this person who's very tempted by you, you really aren't the Four of Swords. You're not doing anything. You're not even moving. You're not doing anything. Okay, Four of Cups. You're literally not moving. But it brings upon these tempted, uh, these people who feel very tempted by you. And it's because you have very strong life force energy, which we're going to see it as just like the physical sensual energy, but it's healing energy. Like you're a healer. Um, but just knowing that that particular energy or gift, right? Like we all have special gifts. That gift is strong. And there's someone over here who felt like you were a temptation to them at first. I do see someone actually coming forward with an offer, but I see you also as someone who... So someone's coming through with an offer and I see you as someone, it's like you're very innocent and, and I'm even getting like a little bit of like the um, Cleopatra, Marilyn, Marilyn Monroe, which that is sacred sexuality. It's the innocence that like you don't even know what you're, what you're doing. 
Okay, and, then, and that's like the energy where like you could really not be doing much. You don't even know what you're doing and people fall into this temptation with you. It's because they, they feel that energy and so it's just understanding that, which means that you have to have boundaries because these people won't know exactly why they feel the way that they do, but you do. So it's having boundaries um, and something's going to come in over here, okay? I do think that someone at maybe in the beginning or at some point thought that you were a little bit of a temptress. They were kind of like... Mm -hmm this person uh, i don't know about them you know um but i think that they're seeing you for who you are seven of swords they're being a little bit sneaky about this why the seven of swords are being sneaky yeah they seven 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 sneaky and protective why the seven of wands okay and it's not in a bad way this person's being sneaky justice card libra seven 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 they're being sneaky though because they want to make sure that things are done right Okay, seven of wands, seven of swords. They're being very sneaky of the fact that they kind of do want to come forward with something over here. Okay, definitely someone from like the past or um, something that you've visited before. Someone that feels like home. But they're being sneaky because it's the protection. Okay, it's like they, they want to make sure things are being done right so that you can succeed. Okay, where's Pisces energy here? Okay. Yeah, you're, I feel like you're working on your own stuff over here. You have the Knight of Pentacles, you have the Five of Pentacles, okay? So yeah, I feel like you're coming out of a cycle over here with the Five card. Why the Knight of Pentacles with the Five of Pentacles? A lot of Pentacles, okay? So for some of you, it could have to do with money. could also have to do with building something, okay? Um, you are at a point where you're kind of rebuilding things over here, so... This, all this is how other people see you, okay? Well, and then meanwhile, in your life, I do feel like you're taking your time. Yeah, you're taking your time and you're building things slowly. And that's the advice I think here for you, Pisces, is to take your time to build things slowly. Uh, what's the advice for Pisces? Take your time and build things slowly. Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Ace of Wands. Okay, this is passions, desires. Um, when it comes to, especially like for some of you there, yeah, there, there is some sort of, um, love connection here that's coming in for you. There will definitely be discerning of like, okay, is this one of these people who's tempted by me, who doesn't really have plans for me, or is it someone who actually does? And I don't, I see them as seeing you in that way too. Like, is this just a fling? Is this just a temptation? Like, you have very strong sensual energy. So I feel like this person is trying to figure out like, is this just a hookup? Is this just someone who makes me feel really good in a few different ways? Or can I actually be with this person? Okay, the advice is the same thing. Build slowly. Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Okay, Ten of Cups is your happy ultimate wish fulfillment. Happy home, ha happy life, okay? An ultimate wish fulfillment here, especially when it comes to love and the home and just what makes you happy. You have the seven of pentacles, okay? Be willing to build that. And that's what I'm getting here is building it because right now, Pisces, you're at a time in your life in general where I feel like you're really building. Um, and it does feel like that's mirror reflecting in your love life as well, where this person seems to be a little bit sneaky but i do feel like it's because it's actually protecting the connection and getting to know you seven of wands with the seven of swords like i think that this the way that this person thinks is well if i'm gonna go all the way with pisces i want to make sure it's done the right way and so that's what's going on here okay it does feel like this person wants you it's just they're trying to make sure it's done in the right way all right that's what i have for you pisces i hope that this resonates i'm sending you all so much love what advice do we have for Pisces? Yeah, have positive expectations, okay? Clarity can be coming in for you. Make sure you're viewing yourself, others, and your life through the eyes of beauty because great things are coming in for you. Trust and strategizing. Yeah, I feel like you're building just in different areas of your life right now. And that's okay. I feel like there... Oh, there's two cards here. There's definitely a need to have positive expectations because it's going to happen even if it's not in your timing. You do have map maker of destiny, authentic purpose, inspiration, free will. Okay? It is your free will. You are the creator of your own reality. Okay? So have positive expectations. You know, when we worry and things like that, which it's totally natural to worry, but 
when we worry and we fall into that suffering. So green Taro is also coming to mind if you're having a hard time or going through things. Green, listening to green Taro's mantra or meditation will really help you detach from suffering. Um, but yeah, like you are the creator of your own reality. Nothing was done by mistake. So with knowing that and remembering that our higher self is always leading the way we can kind of trust in what's happening. All right, what's another card of advice? Life force energy. Your life force energy is so strong, Pisces. Okay, um, you could have even, I'm seeing like someone who was like bullied even by like their own family. I, I see specifically women, but it doesn't have to. But being bullied by your family for your energy. Again, like, like, oh, you're this, you're that, you're this, you're that. And the whole time they were actually just jealous of your energy. And I do get the energy of you not even realizing you have this. Of you like being maybe such a beautiful person or such a person that has so much sensual energy or whatever it is, but you don't even view yourself that way. Um, but other people do. And I do see you kind of going through things right now in life where you are building and rebuilding and redirecting. And I find it interesting that this is the reading. Meanwhile, you're going through this, but this is the reading because people are seeing you in a way that you're not even realizing right now, which I think is actually kind of cool. You know, you're going through it and that, that part is not cool, but people don't see you in that light. And so just a reminder too, that like, yes, there's certain things going on, but people actually don't see you that way. Okay, so just remember that. I'm gonna grab one more card of advice. What's one? Board cards of advice. I like the way that that fell. Insight, magical tools, writing, and start crafting. Okay, you create your own reality, Pisces. Okay, some of you will be journaling more. Yeah, returning home. Delicacy, fragility, the dance, and the crystal path. Okay, um, I do see like just a lot of like magical, mystical energy. Maybe some of you guys are also going on a hike. I'm getting just like a hike or something like that. Um, but a lot of the magic and mystical, okay, a lot of fairies, a lot of gnomes energy here. So that can resonate with some of you. Um, but you are being asked to script, to write, to journal. For those of you who want to write a book or are being called to, this is spirit saying, put the pen on paper, or put that finger on some typing keyboards. All right, that's what I have for you. I hope that this resonates. I send you so much love and so many blessings.